everyone, it's Leah again, and I am here enjoying the company of these beautiful trees around me, and I'm feeling very, very, very good vibes right now. So, <sighs> sending those good vibes to you right now. If you would like to receive them, it's your option to, of course. And I wanted to share with you a new discovery that I found, a new combination of crystals that I found to be super helpful in your work with um, changing your mindset, especially changing a negative mindset to more positive one. And so I pulled a, a few cards out of my crystal deck and it wasn't my intention at all to have this combination of crystals come to me at all. It was to help me in my life right now, but what I was working on right now happened to be just really just changing um, things that I've been thinking negatively about and letting me see the light in it and letting me to really nourish that side of me, that inner child that wants to bring in my magical self. Um, I've been really working on that because I was feeling a little um, victim mentality and I felt that coming on and it felt very, um, energetically confusing for me because that's not what my state is. It's not what I want my state of energy to be. So um, I was feeling very run down and low and um, and so I paused and I pulled a few cards and these were the cards that I got. Um, but I wanted to share the crystals that I got with you because I really feel from the universe that they want me to, or the universe or the crystals want me to talk about this combination of crystals with you and how you can use them for yourself in your healing. So the first card that I got was um, was fluorite, and I had just recently got this fluorite too, so it was a very, very wonderful synchronicity that I received or that I purchased this fluorite right as... Um, as I received this card and I needed it to be in my life. And here it is. It has like a little bit of teal right here, if you could see some teal color at the top. And I've always used fluorite as a way to get somebody out of their head, um, especially for a lot of overthinkers. And I would always put that in their healing, just calm them down, calm them down. So. What fluorite was really telling me energetically, the reason why this this fluorite works so well in this combination of cards, is that fluorite will help you to create different energetic grids in your brain. What that means is, if you have like a neuron pulsing or different energetic webs that are always pointing towards like the same area. For instance, you always look at something, you look at your bank account and you see it's always zero or and you're in debt or something like that and you see that you're in debt. Helping Working with fluorite can help you to create different energetic lines in your brain. So instead of thinking, oh, I'm always in debt and, and really lowering your energy vibration, it will help you to create different pathways so that you can think in a more positive light and it just helps to create that energetic difference for you. Like basically, here's it shows you to your face, like here, here's your option and here's another option that you could cho choose. And after I was working energetically last night um, with these, with uh, the energetic energy of fluorite um, and these crystals through the cards, um, that's what fluorite had said to me when I woke up. It was just basically like, do you want to choose this pathway or do you this this pathway that you have always chosen or do you want to choose a different choice so it helps you to understand and um, see the choices that you can make so that's why I was really glad and grateful for the energy of fluorite then I pulled out um, malachite and that was my second card that I received was malachite and if you had seen my video where I talk about um, the meditation that I did, it was the last video that I did, and I talked a lot about how this malachite had helped me to clear like energetic blocks that I was um, that I was um, believing in, 
and considering the, considering my inner child and it helped with, with me with my inner child work and and so I wasn't surprised I was more happy that I received this Malachite in my reading because I just knew it meant something more that there is something energetically that we can um, we can all benefit um, from from the energy of Malachite during this time and and I just felt like what a great combination of stones until I received my third one and I was really happy about that too so if you want to bring your healing your negative mindset and bring it to a more positive note in a positive way then work with the energy of Malachite and this will help you to just kind of see the beliefs that you've had that were no longer serving you see the beliefs that um, in the past that you were holding on to and see that pattern so flora is more seeing asking you what decision you want to make how you want to change your mindset and malachi is saying okay so now that you picked up on the belief you no longer want to believe in here is malachite to change and shift that energy so it's the next level so i suggest that if you don't know what belief at all that you want to work on then work with fluorite first and just kind of like see what you want to shift at first and then the more that you work with fluorite then add some malachite energy into that just meditate with it or hold it or carry it around um, my favorite of course is breathing in the energy of the stone into my heart so this is what you just and that works really well for if you're outside like I am um, the third stone that I got, and I didn't bring the stone um, because it was also energetically saying towards me specifically um, to work with also um, smoky quartz. And this is what I brought is right here, smoky quartz. It actually looks like black obsidian, which is the actual card that I got. So I received black obsidian and I was told from the energy of that card um, of black obsidian that the that that is to help like deep seeds so if you want to take your healing process into your shadow work so not only your inner child but very deep into the shadow very core beliefs things that we were probably born with things from past lives things from like energetically from all sorts of things then work with black obsidian black obsidian is perfect for that shadow work perfect for really making those energy shifts stay put so you don't have to keep on working and working and working it helps helps you to ground those energy shifts into your spirit into your being so you knowing them and don't have to choose that anymore so but for me they told me that i could work with um, smoky quartz and this and this is also for people that are very sensitive to energy work um and are not may not be ready for those kinds of huge shifts yet um I suggest smoky quartz and smoky quartz will help you to just kind of um, any work that you've done kind of ground it and it's also like a, a protection stone so if you're feeling like the work that you've been doing has been too much lately and you just kind of want to ground it or or stay still or just relax in it then I definitely suggest smoky quartz and um, that will just help you to just kind of like sink into your healing a little bit and sink into the ground understand that what you're doing is basically for the good of everybody for the good of yourself so that's what i really wanted to um to bring in uh, smoky quartz into my healing because um when i heal i can get very watery i'm a cancer so i can get very um emotional <laughs> and um, smoky quartz will help ground me so I don't get so in enveloped in all that energy work and so I don't go further in that black obsidian right away so it's also a good intermittent inter after you or between working with different crystals to also work with um, smoky quartz if you feel like an extra grounding or you're too much in your head or anything like that so that's what I wanted to talk to you about and if you have any questions then please 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 let me know I'll be happy to answer them um, I do um, energetic readings crystal readings for anybody who would like one um, 
there are on my website, highheartcrystalhealing.com. And I got a lot of flies around me now. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you did. And I will talk to you later. Bye.